Though he rarely stirred things up, George Harrison dubbed his last album, Brainwashed. It's quite daring to accuse someone of being brainwashed. The genesis of that distinctive title was described by one of George's contemporaries from the British invasion. Interestingly, it was related to George's spiritual beliefs. In the counterculture of the 1960s, George Harrison and Donovan were two kindred souls. These folk rock musicians used their music to investigate spirituality. George frequently expressed his Hindu religion through his lyrics, whereas Donovan sang about popular New Age subjects such as witchcraft and Atlantis. They were both environmentalists as well. In a 2018 interview with Goldmine, the vocalist of Mellow Yellow talked about his thoughts about the earth, George's passing, and what they both took away from reading the books. That the older generation was trying to brainwash the younger generation to follow in their insidious desire for all things materialistic, including an exploitation of natural resources and a greedy lust for as much money as possible, and that they were destroying the ecosystem with no consideration whatsoever for the inner world of children or plants, he said. George and I discussed that in these novels we both had. They discussed the rationale behind the human race's current state, he remarked. Not only was there wickedness and greed involved, but there was also a psychosis. A brainwashing occurred. George incorporated all of this into his music, going so far as to title his final album, Brainwashed. Donovan believed that the knowledge he and George were gaining had been concealed by a certain faith. He declared, these books were hidden in the West. They weren't accessible. The tremendous job that the new religion called Christianity had done for well over a thousand years was the reason why this kind of teaching was lost in the West. Buried, hidden, and gone underground, he stated. Regretfully, George passed away in 2001 before finishing Brainwashed. A 2002 video on George's YouTube channel claims that two additional producers completed the work that George was unable to. Donnie Harrison was George's only child. The other was Jeff Lynn, who produced the Beatles songs Free as a Bird, Real Love, and Now and Then, and was a member of George's band, The Traveling Wilburys. Both Donnie and Lynn made the decision that Brainwashed should sound as much like a George effort as possible, devoid of any indication of their individual musical preferences. The show Brainwashed frequently touches on spiritual subjects. George refers to the Roman Catholic Church as a farce in P2 Vatican Blues, Last Saturday Night, even though it is an aesthetically beautiful fraud. A rendition of the classic pop tune, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, may also be heard in Brainwashed. One may infer a lot about George's decision to record that song based on the album it's on. Furthermore, the song Any Road, which is a paraphrase of Lewis Carroll, seems to be about spiritual loss. George demonstrated on Brainwashed that his hippie spirituality could also be witty.